Hey, this is Matt from Bull Tier Industries. I want to talk to you a little bit about what's happening in the market and how to spot a fake linear rail Chinese copy. So this is a, uh, a rail made in South Korea from a, an American design. This is uh, a very smooth rail. And that's something we use on our Star Lab. This is the Chinese counterpart you see on every other machine using this style rail. You hear that? It's very rough. If you look at the distance between the rods, there's a huge gap distance. Now some of that distance sets up its dynamic load values. Here's the Chinese truck. The bearings are coarse. Um, they look like they're, they're flap wheel smoothed out. You know, they did a pretty good job on the finish. The bearings are cheap. The whole truck screams cheap. And there's no torsion plate behind these bearings. If you look at the counterpart, they're double ball bearing, uh, double row ball bearings. Uh, the finish is superb on them. The bearing is ultra smooth and there's a, there's a torque plate behind it. Looking a little further into the rails, um, you look at the wiper systems. This is a thin little piece of plastic with a, with a rubber scraper. And on one side, it looks like the rubber scraper is sitting on the rail. On the other side, it's completely open. This is a horrible design. It doesn't scrape or clean this rail. Although these wheels are gothic arches, they still need to, to have a semi-clean surface to ride on. The wipers on the rail on the Star Lab are thick felt, oil-filled, spring-loaded wipers, and they keep that rail ultra clean. The cheap Chinese counterpart may buy you a little time. It's gonna be rougher. Um, it's found on all kinds of machines. In fact, every machine but a Star Lab but eventually the service is going to haunt you. You're going to need new bearings in short order. You're going to impregnate the rail because it's not wiped down. It's not getting wiped or cleaned or scraped or anything. I mean, look at that. That is literally a, a, a piece of rubber on there that's, that's just very thin versus a big, huge <laughs> piece of if you look inside of here, there's a spring that's that's holding it in there and, and it's wiping. Now this is the truck without wipers. Look at that. Look at how smooth that is. Okay. That's found on a Star Lab CNC. It's not a counterfeit rail. This rail, listen to this. That's on every other machine that uses this style rail. This rail can be found in black. It can be found in silver. But all the Starlab machines use the world's best version of this rail. The Chinese counterparts, as you look at this sample, it was cheap. It was, uh, you know, it's basically a fraction of the price, but the quality difference is dramatic. And uh, that'll eventually end up uh, uh, costing you an endless service loop you can't get out of. So that's, that's a little bit about long axis uh, rail counterfeits out there that you might need to know when you're picking a machine.